Hey guys, Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle, taking a look at a 2009 Cadillac Escalade ESV. So that's the long wheelbase variation. There's the standard Escalade, which is almost 17 feet long, and then add another 20 inches to that, you get the ESV. The difference really is the behind the third row seat. So if uh, you have a big family and you like to carry your gear, you're definitely going to want an ESV. Some people say, well, it's a little bit too big. I don't want the full size one. The steering, the daily driving experience, the parking, it's really no difference at all. Once you go to a car as big as a standard Escalade, getting the long wheelbase version of the Escalade is really no different at all. And I used to own one. In fact, I used to own one in exactly this color and one of the most satisfying cars that I've ever owned. Very luxurious, easy on the eyes, easy to drive, tremendously powerful. This car has 403 horsepower. And then in 2009, when you get the top of the line version, which this one is, uh, the uh, Platinum Package, or the Ultimate Package, as they've called it throughout the years, uh, you get magnetic ride control, a la the Corvette and some of the other high-end General Motors vehicles like the Cadillac SLR. Uh, they have that magnetic ride control feature that's actually a, it's a fluid-filled suspension, but it's a magnetically charged suspension that uh, compensates for all the variations on the road. And this is obviously one of the smoothest driving vehicles you'll ever drive in your whole life. It's just that much smoother when you get this top-of-the-line package. One of the ways you can tell the top of the line package just right out of the get-go uh, is the 22-inch wheels. So standard on an Escalade comes with 18-inch wheels. When you get the Chrome 22s, you know you're going first class all the way. Uh, it's got adaptive xenon headlamps, that kind of a blue gas headlamp if you haven't had a, a truck with xenons before. It's uh, A lot of people say, well, I, I'm turned off. It's a little bit bright going the other way. These adaptive ones actually uh, modulate to the uh, differentiations in the road, and so they always point down a little bit, so they're not obtrusive at all to people going the other way, and they make a huge difference, especially for someone like me who kind of lives on the outskirts of town, not a lot of uh, street lights where I live, a lot of windy roads and stuff like that. This really sees a lot more than standard headlights do. It's kind of a must-have, to be honest with you. And then, of course, the, the style, the length, the, uh, it's a really cool car. The paint quality is super, super high. Paint has always been a challenge for domestic vehicles, but the pearl white particularly is just a really nice high-end uh, paint finish on these. And even in a car with more miles like this one has, the paint still looks fantastic. And then, of course, when you open up the door in these top-of-the-line packages, the power running boards come out to you, so it makes uh, ingress and egress very, very easy. And then it has quad captain's chairs, so that means uh, two distinctive chairs in the front, two distinctive chairs in the back, and then a bench seat for the third row. And then this has two rows of DVDs, so DVD entertainment for the middle passengers and DVD entertainment for the back passengers. And let's take a look at that. They're all set up for trailer tow, and so that's what this cover is. This comes off, and then your uh, hitch assembly is right underneath there. And then your uh, parking sensors, which it is big, so parking sensors do come in really handy. Again, that 20 inches, this is where you see it right here. Almost every sport utility on the market that has third row seats has virtually no room behind the third row seat. So you're trying to do a combination of folding seats and kind of adjusting things to make it work. With this, you can have the whole team ready to roll and all their gear stacked up in the back and still have room to spare. It's one of the nice things about the ESV. Again, if you're going to get an Escalade, sure, the regular one is just fine. You'll just like the ESV a lot more, honestly. It just, it's much more practical. Let's jump inside. One of the things I like about the engine, despite 403 horsepower, is that it just sounds really cool. It's got a nice mellow burbling exhaust that sounds almost more like a muscle car than a luxury car. It's not obtrusive at all. When you're driving, it's actually quiet. Of course it's quiet, it's kind of like Escalade. But it just, at startup, it just feels like, man, I got something really nice. And then when you put your foot on the pedal, this car moves fast. It's very, very powerful. Even for a big vehicle like this, 403 horsepower, it's a ton of horsepower. And so getting onto the freeway, getting ahead of that bus that's burrowing down the freeway, and you want to get in front of them before uh, you get to the on-ramps uh, conclusion there, this will do it no problem at all. In fact, it'll do it like a sports car. The pedals, as I mentioned, the, uh, the they're power pedals, so the uh, they come up and down. So different height drivers 
Sometimes you can't get quite comfortable. You're reaching for the pedal. This one's all power. It has uh, power uh, tilt steering as well. That was a, a newer feature in 2009. It has a two-tone uh, navigation. You can either set it up for daytime or nighttime, so you can either have the light background or the dark background. The stereo system is fabulous. It's one of the favorite features for me. I love a nice stereo system just when I'm uh, decompressing after work or where I'm getting amped up coming to work. I like to have a, a nice stereo system. The Escalade has one of the nicest stereo systems money can buy, and that's no joke. Obviously, a lot of it has to do with the cavernous interior. Interior is huge. It's like an auditorium in here, and so it leads to really nice sound. On top of that, it just happens to have a really nice stereo, and so the music is fabulous uh, if you're a music buff like I am. The wood finish, again, a lot of times in American cars, this stuff can be real hit and miss, and it's like, yeah, it's wood-ish or wood-like, but it just looks like a, a 1970s van, just fake wood. Not in the Escalade. Everything about the Escalade, it looks right, it feels right. Heated seats, air-conditioned seats, nice leather, just nice everything. An Escalade's a great car no matter what you get. You get a horrible color, you get the wrong equipment, and it's still a great car. You get the best color and the right equipment, and it's a car you'll never forget. If you have any questions about this particular Cadillac or anything to do with anything in our inventory, please feel free to give me a call anytime. My name is Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland. Phone number here is 425-821-1600, or just drop me an email anytime at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.